Welcome back, mitochondrians, to the Scott Spot, your number one spot for video game playthroughs. I'm Detective Scott, and you are watching Parasite Eve. Alright, so we're in the security station of um, the museum. We just saw on the feed, uh, she's on the fourth floor. Well, that would have been useful information to find out last time. Uh, the Eve, Prego Eve is, um, yeah, she's somewhere. We need to find her. <laughs> somewhere on the fourth floor, apparently. So let's head back out. Oh. can't believe it. So that's how she controls inanimate objects. And of all things, she's crazy. Jeez. So, it looks like a T-Rex is back, or is in the wings. I mean, come on, you knew that we were going to face a T-Rex at some point. Um, so it looks like Eve uses the Central Park slime to... Con that's how she's been bringing the, the dinosaurs back to life. Interesting. And can I just say how ridiculous it is that the skeleton of the dino was moved before the uh, slime had even like covered more than like its foot. That doesn't make any sense at all. Anyway, uh, we actually want to go back to the right instead of heading to the left. I'm sure we'll get into more battles on the way though. It's still going to be a little while before we fight the T-Rex so. Although if I had remembered that that was about to happen I may have made that the cliffhanger at the end of the last episode. No battles here, huh? And then, let's see, we're back in the gift shop. We fought chameleons here last time, didn't we? Apparently we don't have to this time, though. Watch out, another pterodactyl. Um, let's see, we need to... Wait, did I go the right way? Uh... Yes, sorry, I was looking at my personal guide over here. We we're trying to get back to the uh, second floor stairwell. Oh, wow. Uh, Clamp's office is open all of a sudden. Why would it be open? Alright, well, let's see if he's in there. There's someone in there. Time to arrest the doctor. Professor Clamp, don't move. Put your hands in the air where I can see them. Mida? Wow. <laughs> what is Mida doing in here? Uh, hi, Aya. Yes, the, there was something I really needed to test. And how did he get in? Through the window or what? Uh, may I put my arms down now? Did you come back here alone? Mm. No, Daniel came with me part of the way. Well, where is he? Uh, yes. He went to look for something at the hospital. You should be on his way here. Oh. There haven't been any combustions recently, so I, uh... Anyway, I asked Wayne to make this back at the station. Please use it. No, not another one of your trinkets. So it looks like uh, <laughs> Mida thought that because nobody had been set on fire lately that he, it would be safe for him to come into the museum. I guess he wasn't wrong. What is it? Yes, sir. I'll have to explain later. But I believe this will have some effect against Eve and the creatures she controls. Well, that sounds great. Thank you. I guess I'll have to wait and see what it does. So we get a new handgun, Mida's gun, and yes, this is something that we definitely want to hold on to. But I'm out of items, so I have to get rid of something. 
Uh, the Cure D will do. <laughs> Definitely don't need that. I came across some findings. Mm. Yes. First of all, there was blood serum with Maya's name labeled on it in the freezer. I don't think Aya's ever actually talked about Maya to anybody, though. My sister's name. And, well, the research code for it was called Eve. Eve? Then Eve really is. So it looks like there was some kind of sample from Maya, and now it's all but con totally confirmed that Eve and Maya are one and the same. Poor Aya. It appears to have been made up of liver cells. He was culturing them in the past. What do you mean? What for? I don't know. There isn't any data left. But it seems Dr. Clamp has been culturing them for years. Yeah, it's been like ten years since the car crash. Recently, it appears he was conducting research on artificial sperm. No doubt for Eve. For Eve, of course. For Eve? Er, uh, yes. He wanted to exclude the mitochondria from the sperm and create new sperm. Sperm with no parasites. Sperm with only the nucleus. So there couldn't be any mitochondria rebellion, which is what resulted in the ultimate, the original ultimate being disintegrating. Sperm without the mitochondria? Yes. He took the sperm that he created here and moved it to the hospital. There, he would artificially inseminate those who would volunteer for the experiment. Then, what was that HLA list for? Is it really possible to move, like, organelles from a cell? I don't think so. Professor Clamp? Ah, caught red-handed. Again. You ordinary beings will never, never comprehend my, lev my level of research. Professor, I'm placing you under arrest as the ringleader of this operation. What you did. This isn't something you can get away with. Do you understand? <laughs> you are pathetic, Bria. I'm getting like Hojo vibes. Why put yourself in the human domain by reciting meaningless laws? They're meaningless! Do you understand? Just shoot. <laughs> I guess you haven't told your little friends yet. Your mitochondria has special powers, doesn't it, Aya? <laughs> but sadly, you still have the form of a human being. Don't you? I guess I'm like Eve. You can say all you want, but I'm just here to arrest you, Professor Clamp. I'm not letting you interfere with Eve. You hear? Do you understand? Aya, look out! Oh, wow. I think he had a scalpel in his hand. Daniel, thanks. I, I didn't see the scalpel. Daniel to the rescue. Just in time. Why didn't you shoot? You could have been killed. I know. It just didn't seem real. It felt more like... Ugh. I like the opera that's going on in the background. He's conscious again. I'm surprised Daniel didn't kill him. Dollis to the rescue, eh? Officer Dallas, why didn't you shoot me? Yeah, I was just wondering that. What? I know you hate me. What do you want to say, huh? Of course I hate you! Because of you, Lorraine's... His ex-wife. Lorraine? Hmm. So I see that your boy managed to escape. You! I should have killed you way back! Someday, you're gonna pay for this! <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. What are you planning to do, Professor? <laughs> You'll love this. I'm waiting for the birth of the ultimate being. The mitochondria is passed on from the mother. But you see, traces from the father can also be found in minute quantities. According to Eve, her sister in Japan was unable to attain her ultimate goal because 
The father's side of the mitochondria caused a rebellion. For Eve to succeed this time, I created sperm without the male mitochondria DNA. The creation was a success. Eve is now pregnant with Melissa's body. It's twisted. Pregnant? You saw her on the video feed, Aya. How can that be... possible? Damn! Aya, we gotta kill Eve! Let's go! <laughs> you humans are so weak. So stupid. You may have been able to barge in here and do things your way until now. But, things are going to change. I won't let you interfere with Eve anymore. Eve, can you hear me? You don't have to wait anymore. I'm ready. What? What the hell are you talking about? Daniel might have run. She's going to blow the whole place up. Wow. So I see. Your mitochondrial power doesn't allow you to burn. Why? Why? Stay here and try to save me. First of all, I'm a cop and it's my job. And after all, I am human. <laughs> like I said, humans are pathetic. And we get the clamp key, which of course we gotta throw something else away for. Oh man, I really love that scene. It gives me chills every time. How the. You gotta throw away medicine for, I guess. The opera cranks up just as the place is about to blow, and Clamp dies. And Eve had to have known that, uh. Aya wouldn't have been affected by the fire. She must have just been ready for Clamp to go. Didn't need him anymore. Since she got Prego. And, uh. At least Daniel and, uh, Maida escaped. And I like this song too. I think it played at the end of day one when I was talking about how the six days affected her. Anyway, I guess we're uh, done in old Clampy's office. And we gotta lose this awesome music. That's one of my favorite scenes in the game. At least... At least I realized what was about to happen and was able to tell Daniel and Mida to get out. Anyway, so now we have Mida's gun and the clamp key. Um... I'm wondering, let's see, I think we want to head up now, which we've been this way before, but I think we want to get back to the viewing loft where we saw the, the uh, T-Rex come to life. Hopefully. And there's still a fair bit of dungeon to go, although I'd say we're getting close to like the last lug of it now, so... Don't get too excited. If you thought that scene meant we were close. Oh, we got a battle here. Oh, the fucking scorpion again. And a pterodactyl. Was there a pterodactyl last time? I think I'm going to kill the pterodactyl first, just because it only takes a few shots. And, uh, the scorpion takes quite a few, even though the scorpion is more dangerous than the foes. I say that, and then I accidentally shoot the scorpion course. See if I can't get. I just want to stay out from in front of the scorpion because it has that poison breath attack. Oh jeez, it got me. I knew I was going to get hit again so I didn't immediately use detox. And then... Wow, I can't believe I dodged that. I had to like run off screen to do that. No, don't poison me again. Well, I barely dodged that. Alright, so let's stay beside it so we can't get poisoned, theoretically. I'm gonna use Energy Shot, I think, because I don't like this thing. So I think Energy Shot uses all your PE. 327, damn. And if, it does use all your PE, and of course I got... It wasn't quite enough to finish it off, but I think it surely only needs one or two shots at this point. Yep. And we get this stuff that I can't carry. Alright, so we're actually going to continue this way, which we, remember we didn't go this way before, we turned back around. 
and then I think we haven't been in this room yet. It is the second floor lobby. Three armadillos, huh? Well, hopefully I can dodge them all effectively. Don't you dare touch me. Oh yeah, critical hit. At least my dome encompasses pretty much the whole battlefield. Ooh. Oh man, don't lose track of them. I think it's this one. Please die. I think I'm clear of all of them. And I knew that was going to be a miss because I knew he was going to roll right out of my range. I mean, they're easy to dodge because all you got to do is make sure you're not on a straight path trajectory from where they start rolling. And I knew that one would be close to me by the time it's roll finished. Ugh, I hate these guys. <laughs> well, I mean, they could be a lot worse. It's the true dogs I can't stand so far. Ugh. That one got me. And... Let's see if I can't get this one too. Once you get down to one, it's like, and it's just a formality, I'm like, really, can I just like kill it in one shot, please? That would be great. Well, I almost got hit there. Ah, yes, that would have been awesome if I had killed it in mid-roll, but oh well. Alright, and then over here is, let's see, what is it? My inventory is full, of course, but I think we can, I definitely want to take what's in here because it is a, um, I'll just put another medicine four in there, I guess. It is a revive, which are pretty rare. It's Christmas trees everywhere in this museum. I always find it weird when you can't use vending machines in games. Right, let's head this way. And we've actually been in this room before. And I think we want to head down the stairs. This should lead back to the medieval exhibit. Yeah, I had a feeling there was going to be a fight here. Oh, three chameleons, really? Ugh. I'm trying to get to a certain point, so I'm sorry if this video runs a few minutes longer than is usual. Because we're really close to it, but still, it's kind of like, ugh. Why couldn't I have got there a few minutes sooner? I'm not even sure if I'm shooting the same one, but I mean, these guys are like literally no threat at this point. They do zero damage. Unless I run into one, in which case, can I even run into one? Yes, even if I run into it, it's zero damage. Oh, no, if I run into it, it's six damage. But it's really hard to run into them. It's like you have to be, tr because of the way they hop around, you have to like be trying to do that. Or unlucky. Ah, uh, I want the junk. Am I really going to have to trade in my medicine force? No, I'm not going to do that. That just seems like a really bad idea, honestly. Is there anything I don't need? How many medicine force do I have? Five? No, I really should hang on to those, I think. Oh, that carrot hurts my soul to do, but oh well. Okay. So let's head this way. Um, we're back in the Native American exhibit, and then we couldn't go down this way before because it's the door that clamp locked when we first got here, uh, you know, when we went around and then had to turn around. Use the clamp key. I don't know if that's the only door that's good for, but I don't think it is, because it, I think it just links around back to the lobby. Yeah, because this is where we first fought the Trudons. Back to the embedded fossil exhibit. Which apparently I'm not going to get in any battles there. And then we got the North America fossil exhibit in this next room. I, w I would be interested to look up like famous dig sites in America to see if that's uh, in North America to see if that map is really like dig sites like I think it is. That's the only thing I could think of it could be though. Alright, this lobby is where I actually 
wanted to go. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's save here. We got like one more video comment or video to go before I get to like the grindy part of the game. So I'll be able to do that. So let me save, and next time uh, I will meet you guys at the um, weapons department so I can store all this shit I'm car car carrying around. So I'll see you guys there. Thanks for hanging out with me, Detective Scott, at the Scott Spot, and I'll catch you guys for more next time. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.